Fantastic. NASA's lunar lander Odysseus has landed safely on the moon. This moment will be recorded as a new great milestone in the history of American aerospace after more than half a century since Apollo 17. This success is truly an important step forward for NASA, intuitive machines, and especially SpaceX. So how did the important individuals react to this success, and how will the IM-1 mission impact American aerospace as well as the race to the moon? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. After a journey that lasted around seven days in space, at 1824 on February 22nd, Eastern, the Odysseus lunar lander, also known as the Nova Sea, landed in the planned region at the moon's south pole. Due to the weak signal, 15 minutes later, the flight controller confirmed that the lander had landed on the moon's surface. But the landing took place safely, helping Nova Sea Odysseus become the first private spacecraft to touch down on the moon and the first U.S. spacecraft to do so after more than 50 years. This success immediately received notable reactions from important entities and agencies as well. First up, NASA had this to say on X. Your order was delivered to the moon. Intuitive Machines uncrewed lunar lander landed at 6.23 p.m. Eastern or 2323 UTC, bringing NASA science to the moon's surface. These instruments will prepare us for future human exploration of the moon under Artemis. Intuitive Machines then responded to this tweet, Odysseus has a new home, but that's not all. Founder of SpaceX, Elon Musk, also replied with a single word, cool. Next in NASA's video after confirming the successful landing, Bill Nelson, NASA's chief administrator, proudly declared, What a triumph. Odysseus has taken the moon. This feat is a giant leap forward for all of humanity. Stay tuned. He also added this tweet above the video. Today, for the first time in half a century, America has returned to the moon. On the eighth day of a quarter million mile voyage, intuitive machines aced the landing of a lifetime. What a feat for IM, SpaceX, and NASA. What a triumph for humanity. Odysseus has taken the moon. Meanwhile, SpaceX had this to say. After launching on Falcon 9 last week, the Intuitive Machines IM-1 lander aims to safely touch down on the lunar surface today, wishing Intuitive Machines a safe landing on the moon. Musk also had an additional two more tweets that included congrats and congrats on landing on the moon in the posts of Intuitive Machines. Not only the sides directly involved in the IM-1 mission, but other agencies have also given positive reactions to this success. Astrobotic, the agency that conducted last month's moon landing attempt, tweeted, Congratulations to fellow CLPS company Intuitive Machines. An incredible achievement. We can't wait to join you on the lunar surface in the near future. And finally, SpaceX's big competitor Blue Origin posted a brief tweet saying, Congratulations. It can be said that to achieve this success, Nova Sea Odysseus went through a magical journey. It was launched on a Falcon 9 rocket at 1.05 a.m. Eastern on February 15th and then successfully separated from the Falcon 9 second stage toward the moon. In daily updates from the Intuitive Machines team, Odysseus was always in excellent health throughout the journey. The battery system is fully charged and communication is continuously maintained. In particular, the fuel system, which caused the failure of the previous Astrobotic Peregrine mission, worked well without any problems. This shows that the problem of loading fuel for the spacecraft before launch has been solved well by both Intuitive Machines and SpaceX. A notable incident with this mission was that Nova Sea's navigation system rejected Star Tracker data on February 15th due to the difference between pre-flight and in-flight parameters. A day later, the spacecraft also experienced some interruption in uplink and downlink communications between Nova Sea and the ground station. Additionally, when landing, the lunar lander encountered a short period of weak connection, causing data to be transmitted 15 minutes later. But these problems were not too serious and were resolved quickly. During this journey, the lunar lander conducted one engine commissioning maneuver on February 16th. Before entering lunar orbit, trajectory correction maneuver processes were also successfully operated twice on February 18th and the 20th to check and direct the lunar lander's path. 
By the 20th, the lunar lander had been about 68,000 kilometers from the moon and was ready for lunar orbit insertion on February 21st. On that day, the main engine lunar orbit insertion burned successfully, lasting 408 seconds, resulting in the lunar lander reaching a 92km circular lunar orbit. The flight controller then also performed other small operations, like lunar correction maneuvers, racing lander orbit, and exercising additional orbit. Finally, the landing lasted about an hour and 15 minutes, starting with orbit insertion and ending with the landing at 18 hours 24 minutes, as I mentioned earlier. Currently, the flight controller confirmed that the lunar lander is upright on the lunar surface. During these processes, Novice Odysseus continuously sent data back to Earth. On the 17th, Intuitive Machines released the first images transmitted after the lunar lander separated from the Falcon 9 second stage. Later, it also sent another image when it was about 100,000 kilometers away from the moon. When it passed over the moon, it also took images of the moon's surface. Here, we have the Belkovic K crater near the moon's equator. The other data has also been sent back continuously and analyzed by flight controllers to give us parameters about speed, engine thrust, and distance to the moon. After solving the communication problem during the landing, the lunar lander is still sending data and images of the lunar surface and its activities back to Earth. Safe to say, when looking at the overall journey of Nova Sea Odysseus, we see that it is much better than previous missions. Firstly, the flight journey has been greatly shortened, lasting only a week much faster than the previous monthly journeys of India, Japan, and NASA's astronauts. Robotic. This is an important stride, as limiting flight time in space is extremely necessary for establishing a base on the moon. During the entire journey, there were not too many major problems. The lander was always in excellent health and landed well. It didn't encounter fuel problems leading to failure before landing, like the Luna 25 from Roscosmos or Astrobotics Peregrine. It also didn't land in the wrong posture, like Japan's SLIM, as for whether it can operate longer than Chandrayaan-3, well, that one, we need to wait before we can find out the answer. However, the success demonstrated the ability to triumph over numerous challenges, showcasing exceptional resilience, innovation, and teamwork that Intuitive Machines had proudly announced before. And in order to achieve those successes, we cannot forget the contribution of SpaceX's Falcon 9 reusable rocket. The IM-1 mission is the 299th Falcon 9 mission in history. Currently, Falcon 9 has passed the milestone of 300 launches and also just achieved the 300th successful launch on February 20th. That is obvious proof showing the great reliability of the Falcon family. During that mission, Booster B-1060 also achieved 18 launches, continuing to maintain progress to reach that goal of 40 for each booster. Another feat that SpaceX has accomplished with the Falcon 9 that demonstrates their superiority over the rest in reusability and cost optimization. This year, SpaceX's goals will be even more intense than last year, with plans to launch up to 148 missions. It'll not only help Falcon 9 maintain its leading position as the most launched rocket, but also help SpaceX continue to achieve new milestones in terms of the number of successes and reuse times. And the recent IM-1 mission can also be considered a direct victory for Falcon 9 against competitors, such as ULA. The Lunar Lander mission, launched in early January on the new Vulcan rocket, is really the only competitor that sends a rather challenging message to SpaceX. But SpaceX has shown ULA that they are not so easy to defeat. There's no need for the appearance of Falcon Heavy or Starship. Falcon 9 will do just fine. And SpaceX can do what Vulcan did, but even better. Although not NASA's first lunar landing attempt, SpaceX is the organization that helped NASA do it successfully. This will continue to maintain SpaceX's huge influence on U.S. aerospace. And with the success of IM-1 comes another important stride, allowing more room for confidence in SpaceX before Artemis missions, especially the third mission, which will happen at the end of 2026, where humans will land on the moon. But for now, I have to say this once again with more gusto. We have returned to the moon. Although this is not a crewed mission, IM-1 has completed its role in paving the way for humanity to return to the moon. That is a wonderful achievement that demonstrates humanity's continuous efforts in space exploration. In particular, we have also partly seen the capabilities of SpaceX, the organization that will participate in bringing humans back to the moon in the next few years. 
But hey, it's not just the moon. They will have a huge influence on the US and global aerospace industry. The road to the moon has opened, and now it's time for us to count down to the next historic feat. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.